A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Shvastava, and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So things are getting hotter in Delhi, in India. It's May, and the temperature is rising up to 39 degrees Celsius right now. So what's in this video? This video is a, again a very hot video. I can tell you this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check the locality of reference, or to make it simpler, how to check which application makes better use of your cache and your memory the application that makes better use of your cache remember friends is the application that is going to give you much better io much better speed but the point is that how can i find out that which application uses better cache or uses the cache in a better manner so first thing first let's understand some of the basic concepts i have some pictures for you here it is first thing first you should understand that normally I'm saying normally applications are being developed in such a manner that they have the sequential access of the memory it can be RAM here in in case it is your RAM or your cache means they are made by the programmers in such a manner that they access the memory sequentially rather than accessing the memory randomly a application that access the memory sequentially is definitely going to give you much better io and much better speed against a application that is programmed or designed to access the memory in a random manner I hope the thing is clear a program that is accessing your memory in a sequential manner is far better than a application that is accessing your memory in a random manner that is fine so how this is going to benefit me let me show you look first thing first what actually happens when your CPU asks for some reference or for some record or for some memory page we all know that the CPU cache is very important for us we have got L1 cache L2 cache L3 cache and remember friends the speed of cache is double the speed of RAM that is amazing the speed of cache is double the speed of RAM so if the data is found in the cache my speed got doubled rather than if the data is being accessed via RAM so whenever CPU it it goes like this actually I'll just uh, show you first in a very uh, easy manner whenever CPU asks for a data the CPU first checks the data in the CPU cache if the data is found in the cache it means the application is being designed for sequential access so that is known as a cache hit means for this data the CPU need not go to the main memory but in case the CPU asks for a data in case data A and the data is not found in the cache so now the CPU need to go to the memory to fetch that data and put it in the cache that obviously takes double the time so this is a cache hit and this is a cache miss so it actually goes like this I'll just show you I have some very good pics for you just make it bigger like this okay first thing first when you just start your PC your cache is clear and the data or the CPU hasn't accessed any of the uh, your uh, references for that particular application so the cache is clear and the data is here in the RAM so cache is empty nothing is happening so in this case what happens next if the CPU asks for a record or a resource because the resource is not found in the cache it is definitely going to go to the RAM to fetch the data so that takes more time because the cache is near to the CPU as well as the speed of the cache is double the speed of RAM so again fine not an issue the CPU goes to the RAM and fetch the data and now because it is fetched into the data or sorry into the cache now the one copy is here in the cache as well as the other copy is there in the RAM so in this case the CPU might 
uh, it can read from the cache as well as from the RAM so that again makes uh, it uh, it uh, it, uh, it uh, say it makes your speed better because now the data can be accessed via the cache rather than the RAM but the same data is residing both in the cache as well as in the RAM now what happens next suppose the CPU changes something on that reference so the right when the CPU or that uh, same uh, some particular call is there some system call is there or s by some manner if the data get modified so the modification will be done in the cache not in the RAM did you get this so the write is being done to the cache and not to the RAM so in this case the RAM goes stale RAM is obsolete because the data contains here is obsolete the data is just being modified by the CPU and what have happens next so next time when the CPU fetch for the data the data is being fetched from the cache rather than the RAM because RAM is obsolete so so that is a cache hit so that is definitely going to make your speed much better so that was the theoretical con like the concept so whenever the data is found in the cache it is known as the cache hit and web and whenever the data is not found in the cache and the CPU need to go to the RAM to fetch the data this is a cache miss and when the CPU sorry when the CPU takes the data from the RAM and put it in the cache this is also known as cache fill or cache line fill that is great but how can I found out that whether my application is using the better use of the cache or not there is a very simple method I'll show you again for this I have my virtual machine so first make sure that you install two packages I'll just make it bigger x86 info and wellgrind wellgrind is a package or a tool that will help you checking your cache hits and cache miss so as I had already installed these packages so these will obviously give me uh, the message that the packages are already being installed fine I'll just do a, a, a control C here the packages are already there rpm query x86 info it's there and rpm query well grind so it is also the here that's great first thing first I need to check how much RAM or sorry how much cache I have so this is a very simple command x86 info hyphen C press enter and just jot down this information so if I open up the terminal here for you one more terminal I'll make it smaller so my L1 cache is 32 KB K comma it is 8 way associative and it's a 64 line or I can open a note uh, term uh, I think a text editor here for uh, making things easier I had to hurry a bit so my L1 cache comes out to be 32 K comma 8 comma 64 it is the, the information I'm getting from here here it is and the data cache my D1 cache or your uh, data cache is again the same we call it d1 cache actually it's a data cache it is again of 32k comma 8 way associative comma 64 and the l2 cache l2 cache is 2mb 2m comma 8 way associative comma 64 so i just need to convert this into the I just I, I can write it like this 32 uh, into 1024,8,64 here it is and this comes out to be 32 multiplied by 1024 because it's we need to convert it into the bits 64 sorry 64 and this because it is in MB so we give 2 multiplied by 1024 multiply by 1024 as it is in MB comma 8 comma 64 so this for me comes out to be 32768 32768 comma 8 comma 64 and this again comes out to be the same number that is 32768 
comma 8 comma 64 and the L2 cache for me is for my machine is 2097152 it if if you you multiply it you will get the same number comma 8 comma 64 so once you have got this data with you or your information with you you can now use the well grind for the particular application so i'll just clear the screen here i'll just make it like this so that you can see the now you can give val grind hyphen hyphen tool is equal to cache grind means I'm checking the cache cache grind hyphen hyphen I I1 is the first one that is three two seven six eight comma eight comma sixty four hyphen hyphen now D1 cache for me is three two seven six eight comma eight comma sixty four and hyphen hyphen L2 cache for me is 2097152,8,64 you need to write this the cache values and then you can write your application that you want to check say in my example I'm checking the Firefox so I if I give a Firefox here Firefox check it out it is giving me some output here that's great it's giving me some output I'll just make it bigger for you I'll just close this the GUI tool and if you see here make sure the miss rate should be zero or near to zero that is great so the cache miss is very less in case of Firefox so means the Firefox uses a very good cache and and it is accessing the data in a sequential manner so you can compare this chart or the, or this particular output with the, with the Chrome or with Opera and find out that which browser or which application is best for you as a rule of thumb the less is the miss rate the much better is the application so you can see there all the miss rates are near to 0 0.1000 that is great that is great that is really good so Firefox is using a, a cache in a very good manner so I hope you like this video thank you very much see you again soon God bless.